Let's talk Blackstone. Office buildings are less occupied. Buzzkill on Blackstone's headline when it comes to Blackstone seems really concerning. Well, 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 what do we have here? Blackstone went into default. Mm -mm -mm. Now remember when I did a video and I was telling you guys, look, these guys can't continue to do it. And when the times get hard, these guys will easily default to try to get themselves in a better position. And now we see the writing is on the wall. Let's jump right into it. My name is Orlando. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, guys. It really does help out the channel. It says a 1980s suburban office backed by Blackstone Security is in default. Let's just get this straight. Let's right out of the gate. No one is saying that they don't think that Blackstone doesn't have have enough money to get themselves out of this default. That's not what I'm saying at all. What I'm saying is the properties that they have purchased are hurting and they don't want to come out of pocket to pay down this loan. So they let it go into default. Wait, what? What does this say about the market itself? The market is getting hot guys. It is getting hot, hot, hot. And this is what I was talking about of how you have this domino effect that ends up in a situation where you can see things possibly going into a big explosion that's going to happen in the commercial real estate industry that will follow in the residential industry. Now, let's take a look at this. It says Blackstone now defaulted commercial mortgage-backed security, extolled its central location and tenants of its top holdings. The property includes two hypermarkets with two of Finland's biggest retailer s group and i'm not gonna even try to pronounce that one <laughs> kiss <Kesko. laughs> as a tinted according to the notes offering documents still two-thirds of the portfolio was made up of small suburban offices many appearing to date from the 1980s now here's the thing guys i did some research on this property and here is the problem with this property it is 45 percent vacant that's right 45% vacant. Now, if you've been following my videos and you've been following up on anything that's happening in the commercial real estate world or just real estate just in general, offices are poison right now. There are so many vacancies. 45% guys, this whole portfolio is 45% vacant. And with it being 45% vacant, I can promise you there isn't enough cash flow to pay the expenses and the mortgage. It's just not there. The money is just not there. The property cannot stand by itself. So you know what Blackstone is trying to do? They're saying the amount of money that we owe isn't the value of the property. Now, how do we come to that conclusion? Well, the cash flow determines the value of the property. And if the property cannot even pay its own expenses, then that means that the value of the property has dropped with a 50% vacancy. That means 50% of the space is not rented. And uh, <laughs> I mean, do they deserve it? Well, you know, they did buy, try to buy up every single residential home that they could get their grubby hands on. So it seems like it's kind of like karma. <laughs> I'm selling only the concept of karmic realignment. You can't sell that. Karma can only be portioned out by the cosmos. But here's the thing. They are trying to wiggle the way out of this CMBS loan. Because here's the thing. With CMBS's loan, you guys may not know this, but the only way that you can negotiate something with that type of loan is you have to go into default. And that's what they're doing. They're going into default. So they, Blackstone, can go in and say, hey, guys. Guys, look, it's obviously we can't make these payments. So can we knock down this loan? Can we restructure this? And that's what they're trying to do. That's not really the big story, guys. The big story would be, why is the property 45% vacant? That would be the question. So you're telling me you can't find anyone to fill the space, even at a very low rent? Mmm, not looking good, guys. <laughs> but not only 
Is that an issue, guys? Blackstone defaulted on a $531 million bond backed by the portfolio of the offices that it put together when it acquired the landlord. In 2008, the private equity company sought an extension from the holders of the securitized note to depose of the asset and repay the debt in exchange for injecting fresh capital. But people with knowledge of the plan told Bloomberg News that the bondholders rejected that proposal. Well, why would they? You don't want to pay me on the amount of money you owe me. You want me to renegotiate because of vacancies? That's not my issue. As a lender, it is not my issue that you have vacancies. That means that you didn't manage your property correctly. That means that maybe you didn't do something right. Maybe you didn't build it out. Maybe you didn't make it more attractive for someone to rent it out. I don't know, but that is not a lender's issue. A lender lends you money, and when they lend you money, you pay it back. The bondholders are not gonna say, oh, well, you know what? We're gonna take you guys at good faith. You guys wanna lower the bond, not pay us back our money, but you know what? We'll go ahead and take that little bit of money that you're gonna do so that we can basically pay you to lend to you. Now, that's exactly what's happening because if they knock down this $531 million bond, they knock that down, and let's say they knock it down to $521 million. That's $10 million that the bondholders have paid that the bondholders have paid Blackstone just to do business with them. Now, in what life does that make sense? That I'm gonna pay you $10 million so I can have the honor of doing business with you? No, that's not going. That don't make no sense. The loan underlying the notes has now matured and has not been repaid, prompting loan servicer Mount Street to determine a default according to the statement on Thursday. The loan will now be transferred into special servicing. It added special servicers are typically tasked with helping determine a workout plan for the event. And this is what Blackstone wanted. And then on top of that, what we know is Blackstone had a very issue with a run on their fund. Is this associated with why they're letting these properties go into default? Now, we see here, Blackstone CEO says, financially distressed investors driving REIT redemption. You know, I love how they say the investors are distressed, so they're pulling their money out. No, investors are seeing that, that you guys are over leveraged in one section or another, that homes that you bought conglomerate, just blocks and blocks and neighborhoods and cities of, values are going down and you're trying to resell them, you know, at a higher price and either you're not able to do that or you're taking a hit on it and they're saying, Saying, you know what, it's better if I have the money in my pocket than leave it with Blackstone. So it's not the investors that are like distressed. It's that they believe that you are distressed and this default news, it does not help their case. He got cooked. It says Blackstone share lost 15% of their value. And this was in December, guys, when I did a video on this. December 1st, around that time, redemptions in his firm's 69 billion non-traded real estate REIT was driven by investors royal by the market volatility rather than dissatisfaction with the fund. I disagree with that. These guys, I'm telling you, they bought up all of these homes. They bought up all these things. And now we're starting to see the writing on the wall. What I told you guys, this commercial real estate, this overbuilding of apartment complexes, these retail centers that are vacant, that they can't fill, all of these things are coming true. And now we're seeing guys like Blackstone, can they weather the storm? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that they're gonna collapse and go in bankruptcy. And I know some people want that. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that they're gonna do a massive sell-off. And just to key home that point, it says Blackstone plans to gradually sell off the properties, which were amongst the lowest quality in their portfolio. It hit a stumbling block in March of 2020 when Finland imposed some of its strictest travel restrictions in, in Europe. So now they're saying it's the pandemic. Now they're saying the reason why we can't fill these units and why office buildings are just vacant is because it's the pandemic, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the pandemic. It's not the fact that they bought all of these homes at an overpriced value. And now when they tried to sell them at the premium price over what they bought it for, they can't sell them. So they're selling them at a hit. And now that they're selling them at a hit, we're starting to see the first domino fall. And so guys, at the end of the day, property values are dropping. And this is just not residential. This is commercial also. We're seeing overbuild in the commercial apartment lane, overbuild in retail. We have an enormous amount of office that is not filled. I mean, you could go to any city and you could see the overbuild in the, the over available office space. It is insane. And Blackstone will not, Blackstone 
BlackRock, it doesn't matter who you are. You're gonna get hit with the tsunami of CMBS loans, right? Commercial backed loans, right? You're gonna get hit with the tidal wave, huge tidal wave, that is all of that debt. And what are these companies going to do? Claim bankruptcy, do a lot of loan workouts, we shall see. But this isn't looking good. This is in the favor of everyone else. And I know some people are like, good, they deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> karma, right, right, I get it, I get it. But like always, guys, you won't get all of your information from this one video. I need you to watch this video here. It will help you understand what's going on in this crazy housing market, get your first rental property, and learn financial news that's happening. I promise you the information that you hear from that video will be gold, guys. I will see you on the next one, thanks.